This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management with this week's market update. This week on the Street of Dreams, stocks and bonds moved lower as interest rates were moving higher. The losses were driven by a more hawkish tone by the Federal Reserve, signaling it will be even more aggressive in fighting inflation. On this past Wednesday, the Federal Reserve disclosed its March meeting minutes. Headlines focused on two nuggets. First, some members believe that a 50 basis point, that's a half of 1%, as opposed to the traditional 25 basis point rate hike may be necessary. And second, that the Fed will start letting assets run off its balance sheet at a monthly rate of $95 billion starting in May. The general perception is the Federal Reserve is behind the curve in fighting inflation and now has to pull out all the stops to fix it, leading many pundits and economists to warn of an impending recession. Now, if the economists are right and we're headed for a slowdown or even a recession, it should end very quickly. At least that's what the markets seem to be saying right now. Yes, stocks were down on the week, but this is the first negative week in five. The 10-year and 30-year Treasury bond yields have been rising since January and now both yield 2.7%. Yet stocks keep moving higher from their January lows. The latest rally seems to thrive on bad news. Inflation, no problem. Higher rates, no problem. War, no problem. Now recession, no problem. It seems right now, the worse the news, the more resilient the current rally. And this is why market timing doesn't work and why investing is so difficult. It's so counterintuitive. Markets are forward-looking and everything you and I know is already discounted in the current price. Yes, the Fed is raising rates. Yes, they're going to sell bonds and reduce their balance sheet. But none of these moves are etched in stone. The Federal Reserve changes its mind all the time and can and will change its policies. Nothing is a self-fulfilled prophecy. Fear, however, can trigger short-term volatility. As a result, in the short run, the market is a voting machine. But in the long run, the market is a weighing machine. And perhaps the stock market's current resilience is a reminder to us all to keep a growing economy on the scale. Hey, my son, Ryan, and I, we have 68 years of combined industry experience of building low-cost, tax-efficient, goal-based portfolios. For your free evaluation, all you have to do is text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Or just simply call 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. This is Bob Payne. I'm the Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management.